Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about GMO. In this video we'll be taking a close look at what GMO is, the techniques used for genetic modification, as well as the good and the bad of GMO. Remember, like and subscribe. Most of us have heard the term GMO, but what does that mean? How does that play a part in the society we live in? Well, let's do some deep diving, shall we? GMO, or genetically modified organisms, can be defined as plants, animals, or microorganisms that have had their genetic material altered in ways which cannot occur naturally in a process known as genetic engineering. First, let's take a look at the difference between traditional techniques and GM techniques. The most well-known traditional technique is selective breeding, but there's also natural transgenesis. Both of these are very important, as they have been used for a very, very, very long time. Selective breeding is the process of selecting two animals or plants that express a desired trait, and forcing them to reproduce in the hope that the offspring express that desired trait to a greater extent. This is a long process spanning generations with less control compared to genetic engineering, which allows individual desired genes to be transferred from one organism to another. This can be called cisgenetic or transgenetic, depending on if the gene came from the same organism or a different one. Food products created using these organisms are referred to as GM foods, or genetically modified foods. Now, what techniques are used to achieve this? There are three main methods, molecular cloning, genome editing, and gene delivery. Molecular cloning, the process of getting a fragment of desired DNA, usually from a eukaryotic or prokaryotic cell, and implanting it into a carrier of the host's DNA molecule which can replicate the desired DNA fragment. The benefits include maintaining genetic diversity, the ability for scientists to study genetic disorders, and gene therapy. The second method is genome editing. This is where enzymes are used to cut the DNA chain, allowing the desired DNA sequences to be implanted within the cut section, creating the new sequence for replication. This method is a relatively simple, cheap, and highly specific way to induce genetic variation. And the last method we are going to talk about is gene delivery. It has two forms, viral delivery and chemical delivery. Viral delivery. A virus is used to transfer DNA through the cell wall, which changes the DNA and enables the replication of the new DNA. Chemical delivery. A gene gun or electroportation is used to, instead of a carrier to directly transfer DNA into the cell. Gene delivery is best used as a means of gene therapy. So. Now that we've learnt a bit about how GMOs are created, let's look at the consequences. Are they good? Are they bad? First, let's take a look at the good. GMOs, after all, can be extremely helpful. Within agriculture, genetic engineering has allowed for crops to be resilient to pests and diseases. It also allows them to mature faster and can survive in harsh conditions, thus increasing crop yields to reduce the cost for food production. This means increased food security. Genetic engineering can also add nutrients to nutrient-lacking foods and potentially allowing vaccines to be expressed in plants, eliminating the spread of diseases in underdeveloped countries. But we do have to face reality, and there are potential risks to GMOs. This includes creating new DNA combinations, exposing gut flora to antibiotic-resistant genes, reducing biodiversity, and also weeds and pests can become resistant to herbicides and pesticides through crossbreeding with herbicide resistant crops and pests. They can also cause a lot of problems for organic farmers. If a GM farm is located near an organic farm, crop seeds may be scattered between the groups, which may contaminate the gene pool. That is why we have such strict rules and laws, especially in Australia. But to learn more, stay tuned for the next video as we focus more about Australia's social and ethical concerns and agencies involved, as well as hearing some success stories about GMO. See you next time, and remember to subscribe and click the bell icon to know when we release more interesting videos. For now, bye!